Hey guys, Ray here. Welcome to my channel. I recently did a video review of these solar panels and I had a ton of questions. So I th today I thought I would give a little bit more of a thorough review and answer your guys' questions. You can get these panels anywhere between $34 and $70. These are 240 watt panels. And today I'm going to show you where you can get the panels, how you can get out of the $400 shipping, depending on where you are, how you can get that for free. And I'll show you how you can get these panels shipped anywhere in the world for free as well. I'll show you how to test these panels as well, an easy way to test these panels if you're buying them from someone in the neighborhood off classifieds. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get started. Yeah, guys, so where do you get these solar panels? So these solar panels come from a website called Sandhan Solar. Uh, I found that they are the largest distributor of used solar panels in the United States. They've got the best selection good prices as well. Uh, Sandhan Solar, they have an office in, they ship mainly in the United States, but they can also ship all around the world. I'll tell you a little bit more about that. But anyways, I'll tell you more about their website in just a minute. I'll show you uh, how to find the best deals on their website. All right, let's talk about shipping. Uh, the main complaint on my previous video was how much shipping is. So if you buy a pallet of these, which is like 25 uh, panels, it's going to weigh like a thousand dollars. Uh, they can't just offer free shipping. Shipping a thousand dollar pallet is going to be really expensive. So that's in the United States, depending on where you are, a pallet's going to cost you around like $400 to ship. Now, how do you get that for free? I'll show you. So here's my project. This is where I'm going to put my solar panels. I can fit 16 solar panels on here. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to order a pallet of 25 solar panels. I'm going to put 16 panels on my garage and I'm going to have nine left over. Because I'm getting used solar panels on their website and I'm going to pay for the shipping to get them over here, I'm going to sell them on my local classifieds for between $50 profit and $75 profit per panel. But if I make $50 per solar panel that I sell, I'm going to sell nine solar panels, I'm going to make $450. That will cover the cost of my shipping. This guy who sold me these off the local classifieds, he made $65 per panel. So if I sell nine solar panels, I'm going to make $450. That's going to cover my shipping costs. I don't want to hear anyone complaining about having to pay for the shipping. You can get the shipping for free by just ordering extra panels, selling them, and that'll pay for your shipping. Or order an extra pallet of panels. If you order a pallet of uh, 25 panels, you can make $1,250 extra go look at used solar panels on craigslist or or facebook classifieds you'll see people selling these used solar panels and they sell them for a markup of about 50 to 75 dollars off the price you can get them on santan solar's website so a lot of people are doing this i bought these from my local classifieds ad he was selling them like crazy so if you look at your local classifieds you can see that people are selling these panels and they're making a profit by doing it so you can do that same thing Okay, let's talk about shipping anywhere in the world. So if you call them up, they say they, they only ship to the United States. They also will ship to what's called a freight forwarding service. There were, so there were some people asking about the UK. They say, I wish these were available in the UK at this price. But I did some research on the freight forwarding. Uh, I called a company called DSV. So they gave me a bid to ship it for about $1,000 per pallet over to the UK. So obviously that's a little bit more money. You do have to pay the, the taxes and duty fee or charges associated with that. But basically for the UK, if you want one pallet of solar panels, you need to buy another pallet so you can sell that other pallet to pay for that shipping cost. Now, the UK, I think that's one of the more expensive um, places to ship. But anyways, I called Santan Solar and I said, does anyone actually use these freight forwarding service services? And they said, Yes, they say a lot of people order these panels and they ship them to Africa uh, uh, and then they resell them. People resell them in Africa. And also people, uh, they also say they ship them a lot to Haiti and to Canada. People from Canada drive big trailers down, load up their trailers and drive them up to the Canada, save some cost there. Now, if you're trying to find a freight forwarding service in Africa, what you can do is you can call Santan Solar and say, hey, how can I get these ships to Africa? 
uh, what freight forwarding services do people usually use if they want the solar panels shipped to Africa? Or who do I need to call if I want to get these forwarded to Haiti? Um, but anyways, people are making a lot, people are making money by uh, reselling these panels in Africa, apparently. So if you want to start a business in Africa, find people that want to buy the panels and then go order the panels and then just distribute them. Depending on where you are in the world, they could sell for a lot. All right, so this is the page you want to go to on their website to find the panels. It's actually kind of a hard page to find. I'll leave a link to this page in the description. All right, now here's where I get used, specifically to use solar panels. Now, uh, I'd skip all these top ones. These are like blemished solar panels, like maybe the frames uh, bent, or uh, I'd go down here to probably almost the second page. Here, where you just start seeing the general used solar panels. So just go down to this, the general used panels, and there's a ton of them. So 245 watt panel, $50. That's awesome. That's 260 watt Jinko. Uh, this is a good panel here. Let's see how many they have in stock. So you just put like 200 add. So they must be equal or less than 67. So that means they have 67 in stock. So any of the solar panels that are currently on sale, my coupon code may not work for that. I'm working on getting it to work. You can give it a try. If you call in and tell them I sent you, they can also give you a discount. I'm not sure how long the discount code will stay active, hopefully for a while. So I have six of these. These are 240 watts, so that's a total of 1.5. 44 kilowatts and I tested them on a pretty sunny day. I got 1.3 kilowatts of power out of these things, which is awesome. Hey guys, so next thing, if, if you're gonna buy uh, used solar panels from someone in your neighborhood off a uh, local classifieds ad, this is a really good way to test that you're not getting ripped off with a bad solar panel. So I'll just show you this. Uh, so you wanna test two things. First off, the, the open circuit voltage. This is the first thing we'll test right here. This is a 37.2, so you can test the open circuit voltage. So I'll just show you how to do that. So basically you just uh, get your voltmeter out here and test how much voltage you're getting from the leads. 35.13, so that's great, great voltage. Next thing, we'll test the uh, short circuit current, which is 8.3 amps. So short circuit current. So let's say you just as it sounds, you make it a short circuit. Now don't do this with the multiple panels, with a lot of panels, just one panel is safe. So just make it a short circuit. So just plug it in like that. Make your uh, clamp meter. You can measure amps. So the DC, let's zero it out. And now I can clamp on it. Measure the, so it's eight point. 6.3, so that's above the stated the stated 8.6. So I know this is a good panel, uh, buy it. All right, another way you can test the amps is with these cheap voltmeters. If you want to test the amps, I'm just gonna move this down to 10 amps. Basically, you want the amps to flow through this meter, through one side and out the other side, and then this, these type of meters can read, uh, read the amps that way. I'm just going to put the both terminals in here for, so the current flows through the meter and then it can uh, pick up how much amps are there. And put that right there. It's a really cloudy day. So we are getting 1.16 amps flowing through that. I'll just test the voltage with this as well. 35.5. You can see that the voltage stays right about the same even on cloudy days. It's the amps that go down in value when you have shade. I'll just show the amps one more time on the more expensive clamp meter. 1.12. Both of these work. So I almost forgot to mention I do have a coupon code that I was able to get from Santan Solar. It's called DIY Solar Fun 5 and that will, that will save you a 5% on most of the panels on the website. So thanks guys, hopefully that made sense. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll try and uh, answer them best that I can. And uh, good luck.
save money. See ya. Bye.